About 5,000 years ago, the Red Planet was home to an advanced civilization. But this did not last long. A catastrophic nuclear explosion wiped out all forms of life from the surface of Mars. As we now know with the help of our Mars rovers and orbiters, Mars is hundreds of degrees colder than Earth, its atmosphere is a hundred times thinner, and there is barely any oxygen in that atmosphere. So at this time, it cannot host complex life forms on its surface. But this does not mean that there was never a possibility of life on Mars. Most NASA scientists believe that there was a time in the past when Mars had an atmosphere similar to that of our Earth. But recently a NASA scientist made some controversial revelations about the existence of life on Mars. Retired NASA scientific director Dr. Jim Green gave some statements that caused a lot of controversies. The expert believed that it is most likely that the European Space Agency had already discovered evidence of extraterrestrial life on Mars. Dr. Green is convinced that humanity as we know it today is not ready for such information. Stay with us till the end. Today we will know in depth about the advanced civilization that once existed on Mars and reveal how they became extinct. Whenever we look in the sky, we see millions of galaxies like our Milky Way, and each galaxy is home to billions of planets. Along with this there is always a question in our mind that is there life outside our Earth? Or are we alone in this universe? To find the answer to this question we started our journey to find life outside the Earth, and our journey started from our neighboring planet Mars. A very, very long time ago, when the solar system settled into its current layout over four billion years ago, Mars and Earth formed from the same materials and looked very similar. Both are terrestrial planets, with a central core, a rocky mantle, and a solid crust. Early on, we know that Mars once had lakes, streams, and perhaps even a northern ocean. The two worlds diverged, and we have two very different planets today. Despite the fact that Mars may once have been warm and wet, it is now a cold, dry place. So if Mars was ever like Earth, was there life on its surface at that time? Avi Loeb, professor at Harvard and head of the Galileo Project, speculates that the Red Planet, which is NASA's prime location to find the clues to alien life, was once home to a long extinct civilization that may have flourished like earthly civilization. Also, the most recent study of data from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, suggested that Mars was rippling with rivers and ponds over the first half of its history. This discovery leads Mr. Loeb to believe in the possibility that intelligent life on Mars would have developed twice as fast as on Earth, and that there would have been a technologically advanced civilization a few billion years before humans arrived on Earth. Referring to this view, Mr. Loeb said that, Planets like Mars or Earth could have given multiple births to technological civilizations that were a billion years apart, and hence were not aware of each other. Like stable parents, the planets recovered from the environmental impact of these civilizations over time. We may have been separated in time from siblings that we never had the opportunity to meet, and so we are unaware of their existence. If Mr. Loeb's statement is correct, and there really was a more advanced civilization on Mars, then what happened to them? How did they become extinct? In 2015, physicist John E. Brandenburg reported in a study that that ancient advanced civilization on Mars was destroyed in a thermonuclear explosion. The planet that once had an Earth-like atmosphere faced a massive thermonuclear explosion that destroyed its atmosphere. Thermonuclear weapons, sometimes referred to as hydrogen or H-bombs, utilized both atomic fission and nuclear fusion to create an explosion. The combination of these two processes releases massive amounts of energy, hundreds to thousands of times more powerful than an atomic bomb. This study considered the Sidonian hypothesis and Fermi's paradox. The Fermi paradox is a conflict between the argument that scale and probability seem to favor intelligent life being common in the universe because there are billions of galaxies like ours, so how is it possible that we are alone? On the other side, total lack of evidence raising the question intelligent life has ever arisen anywhere other than Earth. 
In the context of Fermi's paradox, the physicist Brandon Bird proposed a hypothesis called the Cydonia hypothesis. Brandon Bird revealed that, according to the Cydonia hypothesis, data from two Mars sites, Cydonia Mensa and Galaxias Chaos, showed that there was an ancient native civilization on Mars around the time of the Bronze Age. Also isotopic and gamma ray data from Mars show that a major explosion with both fusion and fission occurred near Cydonia Mensa. So this data suggests that ancient civilization may have suffered a nuclear attack or may have gone through a devastating violent explosion that completely wiped out any life forms from the surface of Mars. If this hypothesis is true, it would be the most powerful nuclear explosion ever observed in our solar system. But do we have any real evidence that can give the slightest hint about the existence of ancient life on Mars? Well, taking into Mr. Loeb and Brandon Berg's views on the existence of advanced Martian civilization in the past, in 2019, retired NASA scientific director Dr. Jim Green revealed some shocking discoveries. The expert said that the European Space Agency had already discovered evidence of extraterrestrial life on Mars. In the summer of 2020, two rovers from NASA and the European Space Agency ESA, traveled to Mars to drill horizontally into rocks and deep into the surface in the hope of finding evidence of living organisms. NASA's rover, Mars 2020 successfully landed on 2021 February 18. However, ExoMars rover also known as Rosalind Franklin launch was postponed by 2028 due to conflicts in Ukraine. Dr. Green assured that the evidence of extraterrestrial existence on Mars was obtained in the middle of 2021. However, it will take much longer for humanity to come to terms with the fact that life does exist outside of Earth after all. He also said that the missions are the best chance humanity has ever had of answering the question, are we alone in the universe? He added that there is a real possibility that one or both will be successful. Yet it would have far-reaching implications, and he believes Earth is not ready. Such a claim by a NASA scientist arouses excitement among the general public. So far we have no solid evidence about extraterrestrial life, and faint hints about alien life give us hope to believe in the existence of life outside our Earth. With a little data, we can say that right now life in our solar system only exists on Earth. But in the past the other planet in the solar system may have hosted life, and as time passed all the life forms got wiped out, and we are the last civilization that exists in the solar system. So, if Mars was once home to a really advanced civilization, and they got extinct due to nuclear explosion, then we have to learn from this extinct civilization, as we may face such devastating disaster in the future. If we know what exactly that civilization did wrong, and what they could have done to avoid this disaster, then we can avoid such extinction in the future.